All right, we're w with one of the goats of putting, Brad Faxon. I wanna talk about routine with you because I think that that's one of the things that gets forgotten about right. when it comes to putting. Can you walk us through your routine and what helps you to get sort of into flow and helps you to make the most free stroke under the most amount of pressure? I mean, what we're trying to do before we hit a shot or a putt is to get yourself in the best framework and state of mind to make that putt or yep. hit that shot. We have, let's call this a 15 foot putter, maybe just a little bit left. To yes. me, the routine starts from as you walk in. Yeah, and, and, yep. and as you walk in, where you walk in from. Do yeah. you walk in from the same amount of steps? I think you get pretty close to that. Does that amount of steps change, whether it's a three footer versus a, a 30 footer or a 60 footer? Yes, it, it can. But again, if you're in a great state of mind, if you're a, a good player and it, you have a chance to win, you're not thinking about what, how many steps am I gonna take? That's from years and years of practice. Built in. Yeah, but I would also start with routine for players that are less skilled. Yeah. Let's build this routine. It's gonna feel awkward and uncomfortable. We wanna get that to be purposeful, right? Yep. So now here's my routine. So now as I start, I like this concept of continuous motion. So you see my foot's tapping, my head's eyes are looking up and down, the and putter's swinging yep. like that. And as I walk in, I can take my practice stroke kind of down there. The putter goes in once behind the ball, I look, I get into my normal stance, I look again, and then the putter goes like that. Mm, and Beautiful. That started right on your line. I, I liked where I start that, yep. I had it outside the hole, so that would be a misread. Yep. Players don't get bothered by a misread as much as by a mishit. Yeah. And what that tells me is if you get to learn how to read greens better, you'll make more putts. Yep. That's a good thing, but I could walk away from that saying, I started on my line, I hit it the right distance, I just didn't read it well, you've done a good job. And so there's the pre-shot routine, the post-shot routine is how you deal with a miss. How do you walk off this green uh, not calling yourself an idiot, a, jerk, a terrible putter, a bad, a, and out, yeah. or I need to change my stroke, I, yep. I didn't hit it on line. I know this putter's stink. not right I'm for not me. I'm not gonna use the line anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, we all have all those different reasons, but um, the so post-shot the routine is important. The post-shot yeah. routine, right. And I think you have to remember the post-shot routine can be way more important, uh, especially when you have 72 holes to and, play. And, and for our weekend warriors, like it takes a little bit of discipline mentally with the pre-shot routine, with the post-shot routine. I, I want people to understand that this is not just something that it happens overnight. You have to have a little bit of mental discipline. Even though you, you talk to yourself positively, right. stick with it, even if you're not seeing the results quite yet because at some point you will see the results but you got to stick with treating yourself kindly like you said stay disciplined pre-shot routine post-shot routine you heard it from the goat brad faxon